Hi, for this video what we're going to do is we're going to solve an equation that has rational exponents. Remember that x to the 1 3rd power really means the cube root of x and x to the 1 6th power really means the 6th root of x. So this is technically a radical equation, um, but this one is a special type because it's actually in quadratic form. The reason is that it's in quadratic form is because if I took x to the 1 6th and I squared that value, um, remember that the rule of exponents is that we multiply this value times this fraction. So this really gives me x to the 2 6th power. And so that would reduce to x to the 1 3rd. So since I can write this as 1 6th squared, um, this is really x to the 1 6th squared. This is in quadratic form, uh, which enables us to use what is called a u substitution. So for this one, what we're going to do is I'm going to let u equal the middle term without everything else around it. So I'm just going to let u equal x to the 1 6th. The reason that I'm doing that is because remember, I just said that x to the 1 3rd is really x to the 1 6th squared. So now what I can do is I can say that this is really a variable squared minus 3 times that same variable plus 2 equal to 0. And now I have something that's in quadratic form. So I can look to see is this factorable and solve it like I would a quadratic equation. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to factor this. And remember to factor what we're looking for is two numbers that multiply together to give us the last number that also add up to be the middle number. So in this case, this simplifies into u. Um, the negative 2 and negative 1 would be those two values. So u minus 2 and u minus 1 equals 0. It doesn't matter what order you write it in. And then what we would do is solve for u. So we can say that u is 2 or u is 1. But we have to remember that really we had this to the 1 6th power. So u, remember, is really x to the 1 6th. So now we have to solve the equation x to the 1 6th equals 2 or x to the 1 6th equals 1. So for this one, we're going to have two possible solutions. Um, with this, remember that the opposite of the 6th root is to the 6th power. So we would take each side and we would take it to the sixth power. And do the same thing on this one. You can solve them individually or together. It doesn't really matter. But 2 to the sixth power, remember, means 2 times 2 times 2 six times, um, which ends up being 64. And 1 to the sixth power is just 1. So for checking purposes, because of the fact that this is too, um, that says a little bit more complicated, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my graphing calculator to help me. Remember, for checking purposes, you would just plug it back into here. So if you're using your calculator, remember that we can store values for x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 64 and I'm going to store it for x. So I would do alpha and then x and hit enter and that tells me that x whenever I plug it in is now 64 and so what I can do is I can just type in the original equation so my original equation was x and to hit the x I just do the alpha and the x and then I would use the caret key um, to the 1 divided by 3 power and then arrow right arrow to get out of there and then we would do the same thing minus 3 and then do alpha x to the 1 6th power plus 2 and we're going to see if that gives us 0 because that's what our equation was equal to. So all I did was I simply just plugged in this equation that I originally started with the left hand side and I want to see does it equal 0. So when I hit enter it's going to plug 64 in for me and it does. And remember that this to the 1 3rd power really means the cube root of 64 and 4 times 4 times 4 is really 64. So that's what that did. Um, and then this was x to the 1 6th. Remember that we plugged in 2. So I would um, do the negative 3 times 2, which would give me 6. So it ends up giving us 0 as our answer. We could easily check the second one by just doing 1 store x 
and then enter and then I can come back instead of having to retype this whole thing in I can just come up and grab it by hitting the up arrow key and hit enter and enter again and we can see that that also works so both of these solutions do work um, I just use the calculator to help check it if you don't have a calculator you can just plug the values in um, remember that with your exponents be very careful about knowing your calculator because a lot of times people plug it into their calculator wrong and don't use specific parentheses or different things so just be very very careful about how you plug it in as always thanks for watching please continue to check out my video content and if there is a specific topic that you don't see addressed that you need me to cover please just let me know as always thanks for watching